The Ghana Immigration Service has taken delivery of equipment to support the implementation of its thematic program on migration and asylum. The 2.4 million EU-sponsored package made up of computers and office equipment were presented to the service by the Interior Minister, Mr. Kwesi Ahoy, in Accra today. One of the most important programs the Ghana Immigration Service is currently undertaking is the implementation of the thematic program on migration and asylum. Mainly sponsored by the European Union, the program is aimed at building the capacity of the GIS and its partner agencies to effectively disrupt organized migration operations. To do this effectively, Interior Minister Mr. Kwesi Ahoy has presented computers and office equipment to the GIS. They are expected to aid in the implementation of the thematic program on migration and asylum. In just three years into its implementation, the thematic program on migration and asylum has already trained over 250 officers and personnel from participating agencies in the areas of intelligence, document fraud detection, anti-human smuggling and trafficking among others. Participating agencies are the Ghana Revenue Authority, the Economic Organized Crime Organization, IOCO, the Police CID, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. According to the Director of Immigration, COP Dr. Peter Redu, a better informed public is the only way to halt the illegal movement of people across territorial boundaries. The assorted pieces of equipment have been procured by the GES and the CID for the purposes of establishing modern ICT laboratory equipment for the Migration Service Academy and Training School in Asim Fosu, expanding the GIS Migration Information Bureau towards a full-fledged migration resource center in Ghana, establishing an anti-human smuggling and trafficking in persons desk in Kulungugu in the northern region in order to expand the operations of this new unit of the GEIS. Acting head of the European Union delegation in Ghana, Mr. Judical Reynolds, said, trafficking of human beings is a gross violation of human rights and the EU intends to fight against it. The EU's anti-human trafficking policy takes a holistic approach and begins with addressing the socio-economic routes causes often of irregular migration and try to prevent it. And it goes also through the protection of victims and prosecution of criminals. Minister for the Interior, Mr. Kwesi Ahoy, said the role of the GIS as gatekeepers of Ghana's boundaries is crucial to the development of Ghana, and the government is poised to find reasonable means to solving its challenges. One major challenge that globalization poses to nations in contemporary times is migration, and more specifically, illegal migration. You are worse off if you find oil and the whole world troops into your territory to come and help mine the oil. Therefore, it is important as migration officers to be vigilant in order to deter undesirable elements from entering Ghana. Whilst exercising professional vigilance, you must be civil to all manner of persons who come to you without compromising the security of the state.